Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to learn how to quickly create the download button in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Before we go any further, I would like to request you kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos and that way you will not miss any video from me. Alright, so in order to create the download button, first of all, we need to create a new document. You can create a new artboard also, but I'm going to create a new document. So I'm going to take the size of 920 by 1080 and make sure the resolution is 72 because we are going to use that download button for the web all right so we are going to take the 72 resolution and press ok all right and once our document is created we'll create a new layer from here okay and we'll take this time this shape tool okay rectangle tool so you can access it by coming over here or you can press u on your keyboard all right so we'll take this one and make sure from here fill you select this gradient option all right so select the gradient option and you can choose the any gradient at the moment it's not that important we can change it later on all right and make sure the stroke is none all right so make sure you check this one all right and once we are done and then click and drag and create a button of the size you want all right so let's say i want the button of this size so it's over here all right and now let's make some adjustment to this all right so we'll press again u and by pressing u we'll have the access to all these properties over here so we want these corners to be little rounded all right so for that purpose we'll make it let's say 10 pixels and it is going to create these uh, corners round all right and now let's click on this gradient editor and this will open and from here we can choose the color we want so let's say for this purpose i will go for something like green okay and let's take this darker green color over here and on this side i would like to have this color all right so i think this is looking good or if you want you can change it as well and press ok all right and once it is done now let's create another layer and take the text tool by pressing t or you can come over here and click here and make it little larger size from here and type download okay and press enter and now we are going to make changes to its property so we can go to the windows and make sure you select the characters all right so by doing that characters would be available over here and now we can change its color from here and let's pick the white color and press ok and press this one double t that means it would be all caps so by pressing this you can see now it all caps all right from here you can choose the different fonts as well if you like to but i would go for the default one which is the my Rise pro all right i'll make it little larger okay and i think this one is fine and click and drag it over here all right and here we'll make one icon all right so in order to create one icon we'll create a new blank layer from here again we'll take the rectangle tool and from this time we'll take the eclipse tool and click okay let's make it this way and make sure you select the fill to none and stroke to let's say uh, color and then white color okay and from here you can reduce its size so let's say this one okay and now let's create one rectangle all right so we'll create another new layer and this time we'll select this polygon tool and we'll click over here and it is going to open this dialog box so we'll we want the 
three sides all right so that way it would be a, a arrow like button okay and press ok and now it has created this one and this again make sure you select the color and then white color okay and this stroke to none all right and now we'll take the move tool and we'll drag it something like here and then press ctrl t and we'll rotate it by pressing the shift and that way it is going to rotate it to 90 degree and click and drag it down and make it inside this circle all right and press enter and reposition it to let's say maybe something like here all right and now you can make it little larger if you want to or you can adjust its position so let's say this one over here and on uh, this text this one may be around here all right and now this download button is ready if you want let's select all these one and press g to group them together and call them button okay and if you want let's create a drop shadow by double clicking it and it will open the layer style option and click the drop shadows and now you can see this shadows over here and you can adjust it you can adjust the size okay direction and distance of the shadows size everything you can adjust from here all right and i think this one is looking good or let's make it straight i think this one is also looking good and press ok and once it is done you can turn off the background all right and then you can choose the crop tool and crop it something like this and press enter and now our download button is ready we can save it as a png so by pressing ctrl alt shift s we can save it and it is going to open this dialog box save for web and from this drop down menu make sure you select the png24 which is the highest quality all right and over here you can see the size if you want the different size you can choose that one as well for you all right so i think this is good for me and i'm going to save it and i'm going to call it download button new okay because i already have the same file and press enter and once i'll go through on my place where i have saved it let's say i have saved it here and i can just double click it and see the preview so this is the download button we have just created and this is a transparent download button and this maybe it is showing you this white background but this is not actually the white background and how i can say that let me show you let me just open this into photoshop adobe photoshop let's okay so let me click and drag it over here and make it large press c and let's make it a little larger this way okay and turn this button off and now go to that button and click and drag it over here and resize it and you can now see that it has no background it has transparent background and it is a professionally looking button which you can use for your website or your blog or anywhere else so i hope you like today's episode so if you like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question you can leave that in the comment section below i would also request you to join my facebook group which is called the lens of you you will find a link to that in the description section below and if you want to learn more you can visit my website harshwardhanath.com you will also find a link to that in the description section below and you can also purchase my pro tutorials if you want to so thank you so much see you in the next episode till then bye bye unleash the creative in you